people have been asking for an update on the on the flex tap this is about 500 hours on this one um i have here i have the older style the older style uh this is the difference is this is the belts on the older style on the newer style it's the new zoll however the new zoll is so this is kind of like the older zoll with the belts this is the newer one i have not tested this yet um, and the reason I, see, you can change the name there, flex tap. The reason I haven't tested this is that this one's still working. So I haven't had a reason to take it off. Um, I think I said at the 100 hour mark, I had to adjust it once. At the 500, I think I've had to adjust it three times. Um, and that's just the, the screw on the bottom. That's all I've had to adjust. You know, and it basically just uh, loosen it, I think, a bit or tight. I forget. But I had to adjust it. And of course, you have to do your Z offset to get that back in, in line. Um, but once the other issue I have is that the force, the force on this uh, to, to actually trigger the tap is greater than my kinematic uh, mounting handle. So I have the Mandela Roseworks kinematic kit, um, and what it does is it's too much force in the front. I put the wings. Let's see if we can, can see it. I put the wings on the back here for extra stability in the back. But in the front, there's nothing really I can do. I've talked to Mandela Roseworks. I was thinking about putting the wings here and the wings here and just getting that flat magnet one and sticking it in. But he's, he's said that it's gonna throw it off. It's, it's gonna defeat the purpose of the kinematic kit. I might try it just to try it. Um, but it, it, it does take me at least, you know, one to three times to get QGL in. And that's because this front bed will just hit down here or it'll hit down here. Um, what I did notice, so this is my, the one I had. I had one on my Trident over there. Um, I had a Zol tool head. I'm trying out the Dragon Burner now. Um, but what I found is this is the one off that machine. Um, it's got a problem when you screw it in too tight. And right here, I don't know if you guys can see it. You see that right there? So I screwed this screw in right here too tight and it cracked the, this thing and I was getting really bad, um, about 125 Hertz on the input shaper or 110, one of those two. I was getting really bad graphs. So I decided to take off and take a look and yeah, it cracked. So you have to be careful when you screw these in, don't screw them in too tight. Screw them in snug, not too tight, but it has potential crack as you can see. Um, and there's nothing really that can be done about that because the layer lines, it, layer lines, let me put this down. Oops. So the layer lines, when you print it, it's printing standing up. And so the layer lines are going this way. And really you want the layer lines to go this way. It kind of slice through it like this. But because of the shape of the body and this, this piece being offset from the other piece, you really can't do it. Um, I, it, it also has to do with the, um, the flexures. So those flexures there, if you go the opposite way, the flexures will crack. So you have to have it standing up. So just know that that is a danger with this, is, is a cracked, um, cracked body. What you do, print two of these, print three of these. You know, the, the, the side, the wings here, the sides, they're not gonna break, they're pretty good. I've never had a problem with them, but if you print one of these, you might as well print like three. Just in case it breaks, you already have a standby. Um, the quality has been pretty good. Um, so that's this filament here. I'm printing more of the, um, the V-Zeros for my, uh, my tridents there. Um, I just want more airflow, more uh, ability to cool these things so I can hopefully increase the speeds. Um, but yeah, this is... This is it. The lines, the Z lines that you see have more to do with my Z belts. Um, I, I really need to just replace all this. I'm looking to do that, but I, I once again, I, I, I don't want to do it right now. So it, that, that's, that's basically what I'm getting. Um, so, but the first layer, which I don't have any good pictures of because nothing has a good, well, there's the first layer for you. Is that a first layer? No, that's not a first layer. The other side's a first layer. But yeah, you can see this is this was um, old, so this doesn't count. This wasn't done on this this tool head or this uh, tap. 
but you know it's, for me it's decent decent enough for this so that's my 100 or 500 hour update um how to adjust the screw right now i haven't had to do anything it just once again the force is too much for this kinematic kit if you have it screwed in like um per the bomb for the manual the four screws on the sides and the back the uh, two screws in front two screws in back it won't move at all it, i don't think the other kinematic kit who makes that a uh, whooping picard whooping picard or, or heart k the other one that screws in here um i don't think you're going to have that problem either it's just the mandela roseworks and that's because it's on magnets right it, it's it's not really affixed to the bed it's kind of stuck to the bed or the bed is stuck to the other frame so you'll get problems here but other than that i mean i'm i was surprised i was thinking you know my chamber will run 50 to 60 c in here generally around 55 c i got a air conditioner right here because it, it gets it gets bloody hot in here so the air conditioner is basically hitting the um, machine and just siphoning off any heat that comes on the outside which is good for me but bad for keeping the chamber hot so i get stuck it's stuck around 50 to 60 c um but other than that the machine's working fine i got some z issues as you saw that's not caused by tap that's the belts and they all need to get replaced the belts are probably three years old and you know they're the first set of belts i ever have and of course you don't install them right you do this stuff so they're the yeah it's time i don't want to do it right now um so yeah that's that's my 500 hour update i think if i think my opinion is of this thing i think it works um and it works pretty well the only issue is don't use it with the mandola roseworks um kinematic kit that's that's the only negative i've seen um because it's probably a little bit stronger than the four magnet tap maybe about equal equal or stronger than the four magnet tap variety so that's that's my update uh hope you guys enjoy it